My name's Jo, um, I work for Croy Lale, who are the Welsh branch of the Small Woods Association and the focus of the project is people with chronic health conditions and that can be physical or mental. It's funded by Natural Resources Wales and the Big Lottery um, as our principal funders and then we also have local funding in each of the project areas as well so there's a whole kind of mixture of smaller funders too. The Cord has been running for just over 10 years now, but the Active Woods project had a pilot scheme which started in 2010 in Aberystwyth and Treherbert, um, and we expanded recently to Wrexham, Leithport, Talbot and Anglesey as well. And we run Active Woods groups in all of those five areas in Wales. I think when we go out we're trying to enable people to feel very grounded, to be able to connect with other people, to connect with nature to get fit. There's so many studies that have shown how important it is being outside for mental and physical health. It's just it's a different experience isn't it? It's a full experience where you're not just being in a little space, you're enjoying the whole of what nature has to offer. We started the group um, about 2011. It started off really small uh, but it's really trying to get people out and enjoying the woodland. You know it's like if you could choose to go to a gym or come for a beautiful walk you know, there's no question about which I'd prefer to do anyway. It's a real mix of Welsh, English, older, younger. younger. There's mm. some people who are visually impaired. There's people who come every week. There's people who just drop in. So it's, it's a real mix and we all talk to each other. It's lovely. I feel tired when I get home, uh, generally. But uh, yes, my legs might ache a bit tonight, but that's part of the enjoyment, I think. Uh, you know, if I can do it, I'm visually impaired, I'm completely blind. I've never been athletic in my life, never been a fit person in that sense. Uh, and just to hear the sound of the wind and uh, to hear, uh, hear sheep bleating in the, in the distance. Uh, I've lived in the town now for over 20 years and the sounds I don't, I'm not familiar with anymore. I've all grown up in the country, but uh, I'm not familiar with those sounds anymore. So I'd recommend anyone to, um, to take part and to join a similar group. I would highly recommend it. Well, you can breathe easier for a start. I mean, when we first started out, to go up one of those hills, I would have had to stop two or three times, you know, there. But now I can do it. I mean, I had back surgery 18 months ago and this has been part of my rehabilitation. So yeah. it's helped me um, get stronger with the back and, and like you say, the breathing. The breathing, know. yeah. My breathing used to be really bad. It's a lot better now. Yeah. Some of us have got health issues and, you know, we all respect that and take everything into consideration that not everybody can walk fast when it's a slope. So, you know, we go <laughs> at our own pace and, uh, you know, and everybody respects that. And we feel very close to nature because um, we get to know names of trees that possibly may have forgotten and leaves and we see butterflies and all kinds of... And look at today, we've is, had all this wild really fruit, lovely. haven't we? Yes. The wind brew. I struggle at times, but I feel quite refreshed when it's, when it's finished and then we have <laughs> But, you know, the, the ladies are so good to us. Um, one quite often stays behind with me and brings a little seat for me to sit down till I can get my breath back. You, you, feel, yeah. you feel safe? We're no yes. longer couch potatoes. The only disadvantage is we've fed too well at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs>
through through the session just really relax and come out of themselves and connect with other people and connect with the surroundings in which they're in and you can see a marked difference over about three hours and then you know people go at the end of the session and you can see the positive impact that it's had on them. Well, well before I came to the group um, I, was, I, I suffered with agoraphobia and um, I wouldn't go out in the house. I, I stayed in the house for two years. And so I was introduced to um, MIND to start off with. And um, while I attended MIND, um, someone mentioned the Woodland Project. I think it was called back then. I thought I'd try it, I thought I'd try it for, for, um, for the afternoon. And I've been, I've been, I've been here for it's about a year and a half now. It always makes me feel quite good. Um, I, feel, I feel quite good after I've been in the woods for the day. Um, well, it's, uh, just, it's nice to be around nature because we're always around um, buildings all the time. And, um, or if, what if, if you're in an office, you're, um, this could be your office. Look at that lovely view. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah, who is a participant of the session today, she didn't want to appear on camera, but she just wanted me to raise two words, to say two words to you, one of which is lift and the other is raise. So. They're to do with coming to the session and coming to the woods. It lifts her depression and it raises her spirits. I think it's a really important part of their life now, a really important part of their, their schedule. You know, it's something that they do every Thursday, they come to the woods. We can use the woods as a, as a tool, really, to help them uh, in their lives, really. I think it's, a, it's really important to have um, physical exercise in green spaces. Um, you know, it's important for everybody and it's something that, um, I think our ancestors took for granted and didn't even think about, but now in the modern world, there are people are kind of disconnected sometimes from the from from the natural environment, and these projects act as a kind of vehicle for getting people out into the out into the natural spaces and into the into the greenery of the woodlands, which I think is just such a valuable thing.